Joe Buck, come on up. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, they have the Liberty Ale and the Boone's Ale on tap. Um, those are my two favorites if you haven't tried them. Uh, go and have a beer. Uh, uh, Joe, where are you at, brother? I thought you were in the house. No? No, Joe? Oh, I'm sorry. You couldn't raise your hand because you had things in your hand. How's it going? Joe says things are going well. Do you need a seat, brother? Are you standing up? You don't need a seat. Is that an accordion in the box right there? Who's got a guess? What, is, what has he got in the box right there? French ventriloquism. Anyone else got a better guess than that? <laughs> An AK. Joe, are you going to give it away or are you just going to show him? Joe has a message. Greetings, Earthlings. I have come on a mission from many galaxies and light years to inform you that you are overwhelming the universe with negativity. If you do not cease your destructive practices very soon, you will destroy time and space as current beings know it. Yes! <laughs> this is not funny. <laughs> you have grown very comfortable with the idea that you are small and insignificant. You have found a star large enough to encompass your sun and the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. And knowing this, you feel very competent in the fact that you could not possibly destroy anything outside your own world. You are wrong. You have evolved to become self-aware, sentient beings. And as sentient beings, you must comprehend the profound impact you have on space around you. You must understand that all of space is vibrations and vibrations are simply waves and a wave is the beginning of a change. Some of you have come here tonight to create positive change. Some of you bring instruments and create positive vibrations and try to change the universe in a positive way. Some of you chose negativity. <laughs> you must understand the impact you have on everyone you meet and everything you do. Every rude and insensitive thought you have affects everyone around you profoundly. It is not enough to look the other way or pretend it doesn't matter. It is not enough to allow China to cut down three-fourths of their forests to make chopsticks that you eat with and throw away. It is not enough to allow people to fill the Pacific Ocean with enough plastic garbage to cover the state of Texas twice over. You do not understand what you are doing to the universe. You allow this to happen. You think you are doing good things. You just continue to allow your Mother Earth to be raped. Do you understand the message? Do you understand? This is not a laughing matter. What will you do, fellow Earthling? I will save puppies. That's good. <laughs> what will you do? Recycle. I like recycle. Recycle. <laughs> the 
This is, this is all so good. You, what will you do? Ride your bike. This is, this is okay. This is good. This is good. Does anyone else have an idea of what they can do? If you do nothing, you're all a bunch of fucking slaves. You are little plastic soldiers in a miniature dirt war. And you will go on letting this raping of your mother earth continue. I don't know. This form was chosen for this purpose. To convey this message to you, it is not a joke. I am beginning to believe that some of you do not believe me. Do you believe me? Yes. I believe, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> if you believe me, show me that you believe me. Stand up. Do something. Do something to show me that you do not want the universe to be destroyed. Please. Please, you do not understand. This is a grave matter of grave, grave. dire importance. And if you just sit here and laugh and eat chips, your universe will be raped. <laughs>